this patient, husband has teratospermia and uh, wife has history of miscarriage. How do we treat this? See, you know that teratospermia, there are abnormal spots. Yeah. The tails are double or double heads. Yeah. Morphologies. Morphologies completely abnormal. abnormal. Yes. So in such cases, it is not that they do not have normal sperms. They do have normal sperms. Mm. But there can be a lot of abnormal sperms and it can also affect motility. So in such cases, we have to rule out genetic factors. Mm. We should see their lifestyle, whether he smokes or there is alcohol, drug abuse. So we have to ask that history. Mm. And also some of the social factors and the kind of... Uh, um, I mean the kind of vehicles he is using or the other risk factors which he has, okay. any problems he has, we can, we will have to rule out that. His profession also Profession, matters. yes. Okay. Profession matters. After that, once we have ruled out, then ideal would be to treat them for teratospermia with antioxidants. Antioxidants. And, yeah, and antioxidants and also with the uh, things which will improve the motility, the drugs which we give which will improve the motility. So, and uh, in case they are in a hurry, like we have tried giving medications but the teratospermia does not improve, then we can also process the sample, look for normal morphology sperms and then we can do IUI. Ideal would be IVF in case if it is very severe. Suppose if by treating this also there is no improvement, we can do a DNA fragmentation and see. Mm -hmm. And if the DNA fragmentation is high, which is the functional test of the sperms, then we treat them with antioxidants and uh, even uh, sometimes even to increase the number of sperms, we give them injections. And of course, lifestyle and uh, good quality diet. And, diet. and then uh, most of the time they do very well. Of Thank course. you.